Hey guys, this is a weird... I'm trying out new angles. I took my clothes off my wardrobe, so there's that. Looks, I can't tell, I think I like it better like this. I haven't actually done anything with them because they don't actually fit in my wardrobe because my dresses. So they're currently on the floor and the hook that they're usually on is still up there. But anyway, I'm doing a thing. Booktube newbie tag. Woo! Because... I'm trying to do this booktube thing. I'm failing, but I'm trying. <laughs> I'm doing a YouTube thing. I have a big notepad of things. And the this tag was originally done by Brenda C. Uh, just over three years ago. Which is terrifying. Especially as she mentions two of my favourite booktubers. That's her favourites. It's terrifying to think of how long this has been going on. It's, I only discovered booktube less than a year ago. I've only really been using YouTube since right before I started my channel. So, Anyway, first question. N nice little segue. Where did I start this channel? I started this originally not as a booktube channel. It was originally because I struggle to get my words out. I'm really good at writing things down. I write short stories and poems and things and I process everything by writing it down if I'm really struggling with it. But I often struggle to talk about things. I had a stutter as a child and now when I get really stressed I still have a stutter and it's awkward so I created the channel to try and help me get over that when doing presentations and things. And I got under booktube because books, I love books, I love books, and I needed new ideas for my YouTube channel, so, books. Uh, what are some fun, I'm reading it off, off the notepad of things. Uh, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? I don't know how much booktube you watch, but. I watch a fair bit, and everyone, they do go into, what well, they're mainly Americans, what they call middle grade, and what I call um, children's lit, and older children's lit, because awkwardness, and occasionally adult, they mostly focus on YA, and I love YA, and I read a lot of YA, but I have been reading for so long that a lot of the stuff I read is not YA, it's teen fiction and kids fiction and because a lot of the stuff that isn't children's fiction is stuff that I get from my mum I also read a lot of adult stuff and cri adult crime thrillers and things it's yeah I read a wide range of things I also read a lot of non-fiction I'm just looking at my bookshelves because I can see mo I can see all of them from here and I didn't think I, I never considered myself to be reading that much non-fiction. And I look around and there's so much non-fiction. Except at the one bookshelf behind you, there's one book that's non-fiction. Excellent book distribution. Anyway, <laughs> it's a weird range of books. That's, that's a unique thing, right? <laughs> uh, what, are you, what am I most excited about for this new channel? Hey, I've not had this channel for over a year, uh, but books is something I've started doing in the last couple of months, so I'm really excited to share weird opinions when I get more into the flow of it. Just, I have a lot of odd opinions about a lot of odd books, so I'm hoping I get to share those and try and recommend books that you might not have heard of. Um, why do I love reading? I've always liked reading, it's just something that's always been there, but when I was in year two, so about six or seven, I got quite badly bullied and books became my refuge and my safe place and I used them to escape from everything, which is why so much of my book collection and my book tastes date from around then. and. 
In many ways, books still are my safe place. They're where I feel happy. Yeah. <laughs> and I fell in love. Okay. Uh, leading on from that slightly depressing point, what book or book series got me into reading? As I mentioned, reading's always been there. It's something I've always liked. I come from a family of bibliophiles, so I grew up with books everywhere. So I was always encouraged to read. It's something my parents and my teachers always really put forward and tried to convince us to do. When I was a child, I and I got to make my own decisions about books and my mum would take me to the library. I liked reading comics and things, but my mum didn't really approve, so I read proper books, and I mainly read things like The Famous Five, Enid Blyton, what was and is a big part of my life. I have 59 Enid Blyton books, and I think I counted almost a dozen of those are actually bind-ups. So, although I own 59 books, I own more stories. And one of them is actually a collection of short stories. These are... Famous Five is my favourite series by her, and these are my two 100 years of Blyton. Yeah. But the book that really got me into reading is the one I used to beg my mum to read me every night when I was a little kid. She is so sick of this story, but I could never get rid of it, and that's The Fairies of Bluebell Wood by, um, oh, who's it by? It's r illustrated by Roberto Campana, Campana, but it's written by, uh, Kath Melenton and Tim Wood, and I love this book. It's one of those really soft, so kind of squishy hardbacks. So I think that appealed to me when I was a kid. You can see it's got a big dent in the front there. And I just loved the story. It's, it was my birthday's in spring, so the snowdrops and the daffodils coming out and spring arriving was something I always enjoyed. Even though autumn's my favourite season. And I, d without this book, I don't think I would have gotten into reading in the same way I did. So, yeah, it's that. Uh, question six. What questions would I ask my favourite booktuber? I kind of feel bad because it's not book related, but... My favourite booktuber is CC from Problems of a Book Nerd and the question is for her and her girlfriend, Janelle and that is, where do you buy your Scooby DVDs? Because I've been looking on Amazon and things and they're there but I'm not, I don't... My parents have instilled in me a mistrust of the internet. It's probably an excellent thing for me to have. But, no. So, do you have any more reliable sources than Amazon? Or is it just... Because a lot of the stuff, it's harder for me to find because most of it's American and... <sighs> Don't know if you can tell from my accent, but I am not American. I am English, live in the UK, and yeah. Where do you get your Scooby-Doo stuff? Because <laughs> I love Scooby. I can't reach him, but I have a Scooby-Doo over there. And question seven, the final question. What do you think, what do I think is going to be the biggest challenge with BookTube? Time. Finding the time to plan this and film this and edit this is difficult. Because I'm currently a full-time sixth form student. Um, a quirk of my school, I actually attend school four days a week except some weeks where I have to do special sessions on the fifth day. So I attend school Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. And on Wednesdays, I sign an agreement with my school so I can't work, do any paid work or anything. And sometimes I have to go in. For example, next week I have biology exams, so I have to go in. But the week we just had, I didn't have to go in on Wednesday. And I also, on top of being a full-time sixth form student, 
have a part-time job which takes up the weekends and I do extra shifts during the holidays and it's just very time consuming and hopefully come September it'll get worse because I'll be going to uni to be a full-time uni student studying biochemistry <laughs> so that's five days of lectures and labs plus hopefully a part-time job and looking after myself this is gonna go well. It's time. Yep. <laughs> anyway, that was the booktube newbie tag. And yeah. If you wanna do it, do it. Bye.